Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. It is Pizza Master Night here, and I got some news for you. I am back. I am back. Yeah, I know it's been too long, and I've been wanting to play some Roblox videos for you guys, and I'm going to try to get one of those done today, but more importantly, I'm back, and I'm going to be making another video. Uh, I showed you guys my PlayStation 1 games, so now my goal is to show you guys my PlayStation 2 games. Um, so yeah, you started my PlayStation 1, and now we're going to go with PS2, so let's get started. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the Jam Packs. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start off with the Jam Packs. Uh, if you guys know what a Jam Pack is, it's basically a demo disc, which it says right there. Um, and it basically comes with, like, a few games that you could try out, like, just like the demos. Um, so yeah, we got, um, this... This jam pack, that jam pack, that jam pack, and that jam pack. Um, so they all have like different stuff on them. Um, oh wow, we have a Tomb Raider video? Are you serious? I love Tomb Raider. I hope it's not... I hope it's not the new Tomb Raider. I don't like the new Tomb Raider. The only Tomb Raider that I thought was good was the first one. But um... Yeah, so there's the jam packs for ya. I don't know why, but in my opinion, it seems like... I don't know, just like what I said, only the, the only Tomb Raider that was good was the first one. I'm probably insulting people. But, that's just what I think. So this is Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Um, me, this is probably my favorite PlayStation 2 game right here. And probably my favorite video game of all time. Um, I don't think there's any console, any game that tops this. This is the best. Um, so yeah. You guys should check out the Jack and Daxter series. Ah! This right here, though, is my favorite Jack and Daxter. Um, it's the very first, the Precursor Legacy. Um, this right here is, like, where the, most of the ideas came from. Now, if I get out of breath, I'm gonna use my inhaler, because I have it right here. But, this one is Jack 2. Um, so Jack 2... I gotta be honest with you, Jack 1 was the best. Um, sometimes sequels and prequels and trilogies are better, but in this case, I thought the first Jack was probably my favorite. Um, me and my dad never played this one all the way through. We got, like, eh, some, some of the way through it, but, I mean, it wasn't... It, it's, it's, it's just not as fun. It's still fun. I still recommend it, but, yeah. Now, this is Jack 3. Um, yeah, another Jack game. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so this game, uh, I'm not going to give away any spoiler alerts, but it has a very, very unique storyline to it from the other Jacks. Um, so if you guys are looking for a unique Jack and Dax, like say you have the Precursor Legacy, I would recommend bumping all the way up straight to three if you want something unique. Um, yeah, this one was interesting. Again, I never played all the way through, but it was pretty decent. Um, now we have this Jack X Combat Racing. Um, I just got this game. I haven't even played it yet. I just got it. So, um, I'm guessing it's kind of like... Well, it's a racing game, duh. Uh, but I, I really don't know what to expect. I might do a review on that, or a reaction. But, um, yeah. The main reason why I wanted to get this is because it completes the Jack series. I have the trilogy plus the, the spin-off racing game. Which is pretty cool, I mean, I've got to admit now we come to another one of my favorite series, Ratchet and Clank. Um, so as you guys could see here, this is what Ratchet and Clank look like. And in the back of those are all the weapons, like you have Blaster, Tesla Claw. Um, I can't read what that says, Slide Cannon? Slick Cannon? Something. But um, yeah, another, definitely another one of my favorite um, game series. You guys will not find another game series as cool as Ratchet and Jack. Um, so yeah. Um, Ratchet Deadlocked, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of, it doesn't have a back or a front, really. But, um, Ratchet Deadlocked is another great Ratchet game. I'd recommend it. Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Um, again, I know we're kind of getting into a repetitive pattern here, which I want to avoid. But, again, another great Ratchet game. Not much to say about it. First one is the best, personally, but, um, you gotta play them all. If you play the first one, you gotta play them all. 
Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Now, this game I have more to say about. The reason is because this is actually the one that me and my dad are currently working on. Um, this is the game we're currently playing right now. Um, we have not, act this is the only Ratchet one that we have not beat yet because we're currently working on it. And it's hard. It's very hard, but it's very, very rewarding, I would say. I make my dad do most of the gameplay. <laughs> That's hard. Um, but yeah, I I'm really enjoying this game. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. It's always exciting to watch my dad play. And to play myself, of course. But, um... Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. In my opinion, I would go straight to this one after the first one. Um... I know some people like to play in, like, order. But I'd recommend going straight from one to Size Matters. I think this is the fourth one in the, the series. The last one, actually. Um... But I'd recommend going straight to Size Matters. That's just me. Now we have one of the most talked about games in my family. <laughs> um, Pac-Man World 2. This, the reason why this is one of the most talked about in my family is because my cousins also own this game. And um, if you don't know anything about Pac-Man World 2, I'm just this might be a small spoiler alert. There's a level in Pac-Man World 2 called Volcanic Panic, which is basically unforgivable compared to the other levels. Unforgivable. And... Coincidentally, or maybe not coincidentally, considering how hard it is, this is actually um, Volcanic Panic was actually the level that me and my cousins were stuck on. Um, that can't be a coincidence. I think it's because it's just really, really hard. I don't know though, but um, this is definitely the most talked about game when I was younger in my family. Um, and spoiler alert, or well, maybe not spoiler alert, but we finally got past that level, Volcanic Panic. So very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Now we come to Pac-Man World 3. Um, I don't have Pac-Man World 1. It's for the PlayStation 1. Um, I don't know why I never bought that game. I just, I never, I don't know. I, just, I, I saw gameplay of it on YouTube, and Pac-Man World 1 just doesn't look as good as 2 and 3. Um, but 3 is definitely great. In my opinion, I would start with 2 and then continue to 3 and just skip 1 altogether. But that's just my opinion. Um, Pac-Man World 3 is actually a really, really fun game. It's not the only... It's just as fun as World 2. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that the structure is, like, totally different. There's, like, so many changes and so many different things. It's hard to kind of get... It doesn't feel like you're playing Pac-Man. But it's still fun. Um, if that makes sense. So, I would definitely go with Pac-Man World 2 and 3. I would come to the flying games. Ace Combat 4... Um, Ace Combat 4 is pretty fun. It kind of reminds me of the Xbox 360 IL-2 Stromovic, Birds of Prey. Reminds me of that game. Um, to be honest with you, the flying games are more of my dad's type of thing. Um, he likes to play the flying games a lot more than I do. Um, but yeah. If you want to know more about the flying games, um, you can always call him up and talk to him about it. I'm kidding, obviously. I'm not going to put my dad's phone number on the internet. But, um, yeah, if you want to know, if you want to know more about the flying games, you can just go look at YouTube videos on them. Um, not much to say other than it's fun. Um, I personally just enjoy shooting other planes. I'm not really, I'm not much of a campaign guy. Like, I just, I enjoy playing, like, multiplayer shootouts and stuff. Alright, so here we go. Ace Combat 5, The Unsung War. Another one of my dad's. Ace Combat's my dad's. Um, well, mostly his. Um, he bought... So 4 and 5 are his. Ace Combat 4 and Ace Combat 5 are his. And again, it just kind of rivals on 4. And I also have Ace Combat 0, The Belkin War. Um, this is actually my game. I actually bought this game myself. Because I just wanted to check it out. Um, yeah, I remember I bought this one myself. Um, again, it kind of rivals on the other two. Not much to say. Um, a lot of these games don't have multiplayer to them. One of them does. I think it's 4 that has multiplayer. But, um... Yeah, I personally, I if it doesn't have multiplayer, like a local co-op, I'm personally that kind of dampens down the excitement for the game. Cause I, again, I'm not, I don't like to play the campaigns on games very much. It's just I can't get into the campaign. Um, but yeah, definitely, I would recommend Ace Combat series. I'd recommend starting with four, and then just kind of going from five and then to zero. I don't know why. I don't know why it goes from five to zero, but yeah. This right here is considered, I consider it a jam pack itself. Namco Museum 50th Anniversary. Um, I was just about to tell you it has 14 games in it, but I just realized it says that right there on the cover. We've had this game since I was like 6 years old, and I just realized it now. Um, 
Maybe I was like 11 when I, we bought this. I don't remember. But I was already... Yeah, I remember when we bought this game. Um, but I can't, I can't believe I never noticed that. Um, but yeah, it has all these games. I'm not going to tell you what games it has because you can read them right there. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this game. If you like um, playing the old games, this one definitely helps you go back in time. Call of Duty! I can't believe they actually have Call of Duty for PlayStation 2. That is one of the best feelings of my life. Um, I absolutely love playing Call of Duty. Again, I'm not much of a campaign guy. I don't think I've ever played any of the campaigns. I just like playing multiplayer with bots or with my dad. Uh, one of my favorite levels on this one was actually from Tujane, Tunisia. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite favorite games right here, Call of Duty. Um, I actually like the second Call of Duty. It's one of my favorite series is a is better way to say it, for lack of better words. Um, Call of Duty 3. I, In my opinion, I'd recommend going straight to Call of Duty 2 and then going from Call of Duty 3 to right there. Um, but yeah, again, it's another fun one. Me and my dad played Call of Duty 2 and 3 a lot. A lot. We played these games a lot when I was younger. When I was like 12, I guess. I don't remember. But I think 12, yeah. But we played these games a lot back in the day, you know. I have Call of Duty World at War. Um, this is actually the first... Um, this is actually the first game with zombies on it. Now, I want to tell you something really, really weird about this game right here. Because, um, like, me and my dad, so we actually have, we've actually had the World at War. He bought it when it came out for the Xbox 360. Um, and that's the console that we basically have played it on. And I remember reading, like, um, that it was discontinued, like, not discontinued, but it was canceled um, for the PlayStation 2. And then we find it at a game store. We're like, what? I thought this was canceled. Um, so that's why uh, me and my dad bought it. I don't know, maybe, maybe the internet's wrong because the internet's not always right. And after all, it says aliens are real, right? And we landed on the moon. Even though both of those are a joke. But, um, yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. Very weird. So, that's why we bought it. Ah, oh, one of my favorites of all time. Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. This is one of my favorite games right here. I absolutely love this game. This game is so much fun. You can shoot down other uh, uh, characters. And it's cool because you can choose whatever characters you want. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really great game. I would definitely recommend Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. If you had to pick one... Okay, well, if you had to pick one Star Wars game after the LEGO series... I would definitely recommend Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. It's one of the best games that there is out there. Now guys, there's something about Lego games that's just fun. I don't know why. There's just something about Lego games. I love Lego games. I can't get enough Lego games. Uh, Lego games are awesome. Old Lego games. The new Lego games are just not as fun. But the old Lego Star Wars games are great. Um, I absolutely just love them. I, again, I cannot get enough of these Lego Star Wars games. Um, <clears throat> this is actually, um, is, it, is this right here? This is a trilogy edition. So it comes with episode one, two, and three, which is just awesome. I absolutely love, um, I absolutely love Lego Star Wars. And not only do I have the, um, this trilogy, but I also have this trilogy. Um, so this is episodes four, five, and six. Um, that, that's the one thing about Star Wars that, like, totally confuses me. It's like, whenever somebody says the first episode, like, is it four or is it one? I know. And I get the names mixed up, too. The Empire, Empire Strikes Back, and, and I, I just get the names mixed up. It's hard to remember all the names. There's, like, so many Star Wars movies, and I just can't remember all the names for them. But, yeah, another great Lego Star Wars game. I would recommend, if, the, if you guys are going to get a Star Wars game... Definitely get the Lego ones. The Lego ones are way better than the like the actual like non-Lego Star Wars games. Now, guys, we have Destruction Derby Arena. So I absolutely love this game. The reason why we have two is because one is scratched and it doesn't play that good. The other one is not scratched and it plays flawlessly. Um, I don't know which is which. Just have to that you have to test out. But um, yeah, 
thing that bugs me is like whenever you go trade a game for another game or you go buy a game or somebody whatever like how do you guys let your games get so scratched that just that bugs me because I've always taken very good care of my games a lot of people whenever they see my games they're like dude these are brand new and I've been playing these games for almost 20 years or whenever PlayStation 2 came out um, so you know you why why do you let your games get trashed I don't know why people do that but it's just carelessness these games are awesome this is the best car game I have ever played in my entire life I recommend it a billion out of a billion because it's just so awesome um, there's another game that's kind of like it which I'm going to show you later but I definitely recommend Destruction Derby Arenas you guys want a car game um, where you can race you can crash you can basically use weapons, whatever you want to do. Destruction Derby Arenas is the game for you. Here we go. One of the places me and my dad love to go shopping is Entertain Mart. We'll buy a game there every now and again. Which I mean like one a year. One time a year. Two times a year we go there. Um, but yeah, you can buy, you can sell, you can trade. Um, it says right there. I don't know why I keep saying, reading that. Gran Turismo 3. Um, the Gran Turismo games were pretty good. We have Gran Turismo 1 for the PlayStation 1. Um, and that all the Gran Turismo games. Um, they're personally, I don't really care for racing games too much. They're fun, but I mean, it gets repetitive after a while. I don't like games that are repetitive because it feels like you're just it feels like you're like you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, but I would definitely recommend the Gran Turismo series. I heard there's a new Gran Turismo coming out with it up to like eight now. Or like 13. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but yeah. Whatever one they're up to. Like if I get a PlayStation 5 someday in the future. I'm definitely going to get a Gran Turismo for it. Because you know. Carry on the legacy. I have to say if I had to choose one Gran Turismo. Four would be my obvious choice. Um, this game has an amazing. Just gameplay. Um, this is this is an amazing game. Um, yeah, this is an amazing game right here, Grand Turismo 4. Personally, I've, I've only played 1, 2, 3, and 4, so I really don't know. I can't say, I can't say for sure, but personally, this is, this right here is the best out of all the Grand Turismos. You want, you want one Grand Turismo game, pick 4. 4 is definitely your best choice. Now we have Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. Um, that's exactly how the, the voice intro sounds. <laughs> Um, personally, this game, I, personally, I, nothing against Crash, but I just, he's not, he's not that good of a character. I mean, you have Ratchet and Clank, you have Jack and Daxter, you have Crash, um, you have Spyro the Dragon. Personally, I think Crash, I mean, personally, I think Spyro the Dragon should have been Crash because, I don't know, there are some good levels in there. There are some good levels in here. Um, one of them, I think it's called Bamboozled. I think that's what it's called. Where you're basically like in a ball. Like, a, you know, like a hamster ball. And like, you're like... I like roll down an obstacle course. That's my favorite one. But, um... Yeah. Next game, Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Sly Cooper. Um, yeah, Sly Cooper's kind of another one of those characters. That he kind of gets like pushed to the back a lot. Because there's so many other characters that are like... You have like... Uh, Legend of Zelda. You have like other characters that are kind of more like popular than Sly, but um, this is definitely we. I, I've played all three Sly games, uh, and me and my dad have traded in the first two because you know we we trade in our games sometimes. Um, but this is the only one that we kept, and the reason why we kept this one is because it's definitely the best. Spoiler alert: there is um, a weapon called the Hypnotizer. I definitely would pick that game and hypnotize your enemies. And they basically are frozen in time. So if you guys if you guys play Sly 3, definitely don't forget choose your hypnotizer as your weapon. So got Hot Shots Golf 3. Uh, personally, I find sports games to be boring. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a little bit harsh, but I I personally find sports games to be boring. Not Hot Shots Golf 3. Hot Shots Golf 3 is amazing. Um, it's it's great. We also have Hot Shots Golf 1 for the PS1. But 3 is much better. I definitely prefer 3 over 1. Um, I, I've only ever played 1 and 3. So my opinion is go for 3. 
Heroes of the Pacific. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember anything about this game. <laughs> oh, this is my dad's game. I don't remember anything about this game. Um, we used to play a lot when I was really, really little, but I don't remember... Okay, well, he used to play a lot when I was really, really little, but I don't, I don't, I don't ever remember playing it myself. I'm sure I did. It's just it's been so long. Um, but yeah, I know he loves it, so... I would recommend... If my dad likes it, I would recommend it. Sort of. He also likes Call of Duty Cold War, and that game is just garbage. Strike Force Bowling. This is a great game. Better than the Wii ones, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, I personally like this one better than the Wii. Um, the Wii is a good console, but PlayStation 2 is way better in so many ways. Um, and the games are so much better in so many ways. But um, if you have a Wii, don't throw it away. I would keep it if I were you, because there's still some good games on there. Um, but yeah, back to Strike Force Bowling. If you want a bowling game? I recommend this one. Flat out. <laughs> this is another one of my favorite games. Well, not one of my top favorites, but it's definitely a great game. Flat out. Is this Flat Out 3? No, it's Flat Out 1. And I th I'm pretty sure we had one. I was like, I thought I saw a 3 there. I was like, no, this is 1. Um, Flat Out 1 is a great game. There's a lot of crashing, a lot of destruction. I personally like destruction and crashing more than racing itself. So if you like destruction, destructing and crashing more than racing too, I'd recommend Flat Out. Flat Out's a great game. Um, the only game that I would put, well, there's a couple of, there's a couple of games I would put above this one. Um, but this one is definitely my top 10 favorite crashing games. Top 5 favorite crashing games from more specific. Now, back to what I said about my, um, like, top 5 and all that. Um, I, I don't, I'm not, like, one of these weird, well, okay, let, let me restart that over. I'm not one of these people that has, like, lists everywhere that has, like, top 5 games. No, I just, I just don't do that. Like, if I feel like it's a good game, I'll just, that's just, like, a saying. Yeah, it's in my top 5. Um... But that's kind of where I mean. I don't actually have like an actual top five. Um, however, I think I should actually kind of do that. That would actually kind of fun. Just like make a video of like my top five racing games, my top five um, platformer games, whatever. This one's Medal of Honor European Assault. Um, this one's another one of my dad's. He likes the Medal of Honor and the Brothers in Arms. So those ones are kind of his. I don't really play them. Not into them. But um, yeah. European Assault looks cool because I guess you could travel all over Europe. It's more interesting than the United States. Um, Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. So now this game, I absolutely love to play the demo of this game. Um, and I remember I played the demo for like ages because it's on one of our jam packs. I played the demo of this game for like ages. And then when I bought the game, I think I only played it like twice. <laughs> I seriously, it just like I was just like it, the fun wore off. I was like, it's not, it's not as much fun as it was. But um. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting game. It's pretty fun. It's better than Modern Warfare 2, if that makes any sense. This right here, my number two favorite um, crashing game, Burnout Revenge. This game has so many memories. Me and my cousins and my dad love to play Burnout Revenge. Um, this game is just awesome. I absolutely love this game. Um, Burnout Revenge. Me and my dad tried out Burnout Paradise. And I'm going to be honest with you, Burnout Paradise was an embarrassment over this game. Burnout, don't buy Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise is garbage. Burnout Paradise is a banana peel. It's absolute trash. It's garbage. It is a drainage pipe. This game right here, however, this game is 7th Heaven. Um, I absolutely love playing this game, Burnout Revenge. Um... It's fun. I haven't played it in like a few years, honestly, because I've been into like other games. But this game, this has so many good memories of it. Definitely my second favorite crashing game. To be brutally honest, and I don't mean to sound arrogant, but when you have as many games as I do, it's hard to play them all consistently. Because it's like some games you just you forget about and they just end up sitting on your shelf. And then like a couple of years later, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot about that game. This is one of those games. And Burnout Revenge was also one of those games. Um, but Shrek 2 is, to me, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, it's a lot better than the Shrek uh, on the GameCube. If, if you want to play one Shrek game, I would play Shrek 2. Don't buy the GameCube version. The GameCube version is trash. The GameCube version is a rat's nest 
compared to this one. Um, yeah, I know I'm probably discrediting sellers here, but I'm just giving my opinion, and we have freedom of speech, don't we? Yep. So I would buy Shrek 2 for the PS2. Um, next game, Army Men Green Rogue. Um, this game was okay. Uh, honestly, the graphics were just not that good compared to, like, Black and Killzone. Which I haven't even showed yet. But, um, just graphics aren't, weren't that good. It's, it's still a good game to have in your collection. I mean, I'm not going to trade it or sell it. We've traded and sold for many of our games. Um, what I try to do is I never trade for less. Like, I never trade two for one. I always trade one for one or one for two. Because you can't trade two for one. Like, you're just losing the game. So, I would, I would definitely not trade it or sell it. But it's still... It's a very much in the middle game. I mean, I keep it in my collection, but it's not one that I'm going to be, like, rushing off the shelves to play. Um, guys, Narnia, the Narnia series, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, I used to love the Narnia movies when I was younger. They were fun to watch, um, and it's even more fun to play. Um, I absolutely love playing it. It's very, very realistic. It's very, very like the movie. The graphics are amazing on these games. Um, so I have both um, Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and Prince Caspian. I'd recommend The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but that's only because I've seen that movie way... I don't think I've ever seen the Prince Caspian movie. I know I've seen The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and that's probably why I'm more leaning toward the game. But both of them are decent. If you're going to buy one, buy the other. This right here was an amazing game, The Hobbit. The Hobbit, one of my most favorite games of all time, my favorite books, my favorite trilogies, my favorite movies, my favorite everything. Um, I am, I wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but I would say I'm very interested or into Middle Earth. I came with Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit trilogy. Um, I, I never got far enough if it, okay, spoiler alert, I never got far enough to see if it actually has smog in it, like the dragon that you fight at the end. I never got far enough. I never beat the game. I got like 50 for like 46%, 50 something percent. I don't remember. But, um, I haven't played it in, like, a year. Yeah, because last time I played it, um, COVID was going on, like, or COVID had just started up. Um, yeah, so I, I really don't, um, I don't know if it has a dragon in it, but I hope it does. Next game is Lemony Snickets, a series of unfortunate events. This game is really fun. It's also very, very much like the, the, the movie. I got, spoiler alert, I got to the place where, you know, like, the window breaks, and they're, like, in the ocean. Like, you know how he escaped the villain? I forgot what his name was, but he escapes through the window. Again, another one of those games that I haven't played since COVID started. I just haven't been in, well, ever since we got, uh, or ever since the PlayStation 1 is up and working again, um, I haven't really played that many of my old PS, well, not my old PS2 games, but, like, not many of my middle ranking PS2 games. Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 3.0 or is that 3.0? I don't know. Again, like I mentioned earlier, my dad's my dad likes the, the Brothers in Arms the Medal of Honor series. So these are kind of his games. Um, he plays a lot of this one and he also plays a lot of this one as well. Brothers in Arms are... Okay. Fix that. He used to play a lot of these games until he bought that Call of Duty one. It was right before Cold War. Isn't it like the new World War II? Ever since he bought that and an Xbox One, these games have basically sat collecting dust. Um, no, I don't blame him. I mean, I understand everybody has their own likes and dislikes, but... Yeah. They kind of don't get played that much anymore. Black. Black is another one of my dad's favorite games. Um, I, I, I've played it before, it's, it's fun, I remember I used to like watching him play it more than actually playing it myself, but I would still definitely recommend having it in your collection, if you want like, if you want like a, uh, not a shooting game that's not that popular, I recommend getting Black. More fun than Black is Killzone. Killzone is a lot more fun than Black, um, preferably because you can actually play like, you can actually play with like bots and you can play multiplayer. That's why I would definitely recommend Killzone over Black. You still gotta have both games in your collection, but I would definitely recommend. If you gotta only have one, 
I would definitely recommend Killzone. Fantavision. Fantavision, um, not, this game has a unique story. So this game is actually the first PlayStation 2 game that ever came out. Like, it was weird. I happened to, like, look that up on the internet, just, like, out of curiosity. And then I go to the, I go to the mall, and boom, it's sitting right there. So I bought it. Um, this was actually very, very, very recently, and I haven't even played it. Um, it doesn't, I watched some YouTube videos on it, and it doesn't look that much fun. It's basically just, like, shooting fireworks into the air or something. It honestly doesn't look that much fun to me, but I can't say because I've never tried it. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if I want to actually try it. I might just leave it in the case, uh, just, like, as a collector's item, you know? Tetris Worlds. Now, me and my dad have, we had Tetris Worlds for the Xbox 360, but after something happened to it, we got Tetris Worlds for the PS2. Um, we actually have not played this game yet, the version. Um, just because it's like one of those things where like, you know, like you played like you play the Xbox version a million times and then you buy the PS2 version and it just sits on your shelf because you're like, I already played it so much on the Xbox. I don't know if you get that, but that's kind of what happens to us. But it looks the same. It looks exactly the same. It looks fun. Honestly, I can't wait to play it again. It's just I have so many other games. It's it's on my priority list, but it's low ranking. And it, it's again, it's another one of those games you just gotta have in your collection. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider my collection complete without Tetris Worlds. Now this game is a different story. This game is a different story. Um, Motor Mayhem. This game is probably one of my most favorite games in the entire universe. I absolutely love playing Motor Mayhem. It's a lot like Destruction Derby Arenas that I described earlier, um, but this game is just. It's just boss quality. Um, I just absolutely love this game. Um, me and my so, me and my dad actually very recently bought this game. Like I would say within the last couple of weeks, we actually bought this one. And we've played it. And I just I'm I love this game. I absolutely just love this game. It's probably the best one of the best games I've bought this year so far. Um, I would definitely recommend Motor Mayhem. You gotta buy Motor Mayhem. For your collection is not going to be the same with Motor Mayhem. Um, it's definitely going to change your perspective on things. Stuntman. Now, this game also has a very unique um, story to it. So, my dad, I don't remember this. My dad says that we used to play this a lot when I was, like, really, really little. But I have no memory of playing it, like, at all. Like, zero. Um, and I guess we traded it in, like, 15 years ago. And, uh, we saw it not that long ago, a couple months ago. We saw it at the mall. And my dad was like, you should buy that again. I was like, yeah, okay, sure. And we haven't, I haven't played it yet. It's just, I don't, I really don't even know what kind of game it is. It looks like some sort of, like, gun police shooting game. I don't know. Really don't know. But I might want to try it sometime. Defender. <coughs> <coughs> Might need to use that inhaler here pretty soon. But Defender. Defender is another one of my favorite games. Um, it's another one of those ones we also have on the Xbox 360. But I don't know what happened to us. We got the PS2 version. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not like the original ar arcade Defender game. It's a totally different Defender game. But it's still worth playing. still worth buying in 2021. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, my oxygen levels right now are not that good, and I feel sick. I feel very, very bad. Um, so, I think it's just from talking so much. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I really do. So, um, just some respiratory problems I was born with. Can't do anything about it. But I'm going to go through the last part of this very slowly. I mean, very quickly. See, I can't even think straight. Um, Skidoo Snow X Racing. Um, racing game with snowmobiles. Need for Speed Pro Street, another uh, Xbox 360, Corvette. Um, now, a couple of these games, Cor like for example, like Corvette and this next game, MX Superfly, and a game that I'm going to show you later, Mafia. Um, I actually bought those in like a mystery pack, which was very cheap. Um, and surprisingly, I got nothing good in it. Like, I, I mean, I. The games aren't really that good, but um, that I got in that mystery pack. But um, a lot of these other games that I'm drawing you now are really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through them real quickly because I feel sick. My 
oxygen levels are very low right now and I need to lie down and take a break. That's why I'm going through these very quickly. But um, thank you for checking out my video. And I will see you all in my next video. If I felt better, I would continue this video for quite a while. But the reality is, I don't feel good. So, I will see you all next time.